What's going on RV world? It's Cam Hilliard from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge. And I've got a question for you. Out of the new RV buyers last year, what percentage was millennials? Okay, so before I answer that, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications because we answer questions like that and we show you cool products like what's behind me. So, to answer the question, what percentage of new RV buyers, so people who are buying in the RV market for the first time, what percentage were millennials last year in 2022? The number might surprise you a little bit. 65% of new buyers were millennials. So that brings a question. Why are they buying? What are they buying? That's the easier question to ask than it is to answer. So they're, they're buying things from, from big and small, old, new, all that good stuff. But what I'm standing in front of is a Hike 100 by Winnebago. We've had, this is a new product that has just come out in 2023. So the, the big, you know, 65% of buyers who were millennials last year have not got to check this out. But I think this product could be really well suited for millennials who, who basically uh, want to do something that's not staying at hotels, want to do something that's not even particularly staying at campgrounds. Basically, they want to go places that are kind of off the beaten path. They want to see more, do more without um basically without being confined to one space or without being surrounded by a bunch of people so the hike 100 series does a great job at capturing the adventurous spirit that lives within a lot of people especially millennials so the hike 100 that i'm standing in front of this is going to be standard on them. we're going to basically not go over a specific floor plan i might show you one here or there but basically go over the features that make this really really good for getting away from society getting away from people and exploring so the bars that you see on the front here go on the front they're around the sides and then even you've got similar bars that are on the top those are great for attaching a kayak to or a bike to or even you can put an ice chest um kite surf if you want to go kite surf you can attach your equipment up to that snowboards you can put snowboards skis anything up there so that could work really well now you ask how well will it do in a cold climate what's going to do great in a cold climate so the Hike 100 has much more, it, it's so, uh, standard insulation on RV is going to be about an inch and a half thick. St insulation like your sidewalls and your floor as well on a Hike 100 are going to be two inches thick. So it's thicker insulation that's what, even even that's what, what's in a normal micro mini to my right. The Hike 100 has done, it's, it's basically what will be put in the biggest, nicest travel trailers. We put something small. So since it's two inches thick, it's Asdell composite, so it won't rot, won't mildew, it's porous material, but it's very well insulated. So when it's really, really hot outside, it's going to keep you warm, or it's going to keep you cool inside. And when it's really cold outside, it's going to keep you warm. So that's a big benefit. Now we talked about getting in places that aren't necessarily campgrounds. So you want to go uh, to Big Bend National Park, or you want to go somewhere in the arches. You're not going to have a problem doing that. Especially if you go in somewhere where it's rocky or even you have to go on a trail. Basically, if you're going somewhere that's not cement um, so or not a paved road, I guess I could put it. So this has a torsion flex stud axle on either side. It's also got a shock absorber on either side. So it makes it handle really, really well whenever you're going over bumps. So we have terrible roads in Louisiana if you're going over Louisiana roads. Or, like I said, if, if you're somewhere that's not paved. So if you want to go somewhere that nobody else has seen before, take the Hike 100. It's perfect for it. Also, the bumpers that it has around the sides, so these are really, really solid bumpers. They're not just for looks. So there are a lot of a lot of trailers and a lot of things nowadays that's just done for looks, just done because it looks cool. This is actually a protective outer layer to your Hike 100. So let's say that you are in the the arches and you're off, you know, on a trail, and um, you, you you cut a turn a little bit too tight because you're you're too busy looking at the beautiful view in front of you, and you hit a rock. Well. On a normal trailer, you're going to hit that corner and you're going to do a lot of damage to this fiberglass. And fiberglass work is not cheap. But on the Hike 100, you're going to hit that bar and you're going to be just fine. It's, it's a Nerf bar that is going to protect it. So your shell of your camper is going to be just fine. You might ding the bar a little bit. But a ding bar is a lot easier to fix. I, I, I wouldn't even fix it. It's a, it's a reminder there instead of a big in, indention in the side of your fiberglass like what you might have on a normal travel trailer. So those are some big benefits of a Hike 100. Also, the different floor plans that they make. So they make three different floor plans. One of them is going to be, I would say, the more mild of the three, where it's basically just sleeping area, bathroom, and then, of course, you got like a, a small little 
um, food preparation area. But the other two, so you've got one that's got dual doors at the back. We, we did a walkthrough on that. You want to check it out. Basically, it's a toy hauler um, that's very small, so you're going to like that. We, we should have teaser videos on all these, but also the other one has uh, basically like a half door. Have you seen any of the micro mini floor plans with the any of the bunkhouse floor plans? It's got that little half door. It's got the same door as that, except it's on the rear of the trailer. So you could take uh, you could take the front wheel off your mountain bike, slide your mountain bike in there, kayak, big Yeti ice chest, whatever you want. But those two are the more, in my opinion, I like I like the floor plan. I'm, I'm blanking on the names here, but I like the floor plan that has the bed and just the sleeping area in there. But it doesn't, it, you can't store as much in there. Whereas the other two floor plans are are truly, in my opinion, even more so made for adventure um, than the I'm, I'm blank, I think it's the FB floor plan. The other two. Again, you can use one as a, a full toy hauler area, and the other is big enough to slide, you know, bikes or kayaks or whatever. So you've got a lot of different options, and basically, really a lot of different uses that you can get with these to go again away from campgrounds, away from where all the people are, and kind of just get on your own, sit under the stars, and just in, enjoy nature. Um, so. You know, this video is targeted at millennials. I think this could be a great trailer for you. And a big benefit, too, is this actually demographic. I don't know the, the, the stat number that supports this, but a lot of millennials have ha half-ton vehicles or smaller vehicles, like whether it be a 4Runner or a Tacoma. Typically, and again, I don't know the exact number, but millennials have a higher concentration of smaller vehicles than what like your boomers do in other generations. Um, so basically, if you have that 4Runner, Tacoma, or a Jeep, this Hike 100 is built for you. It's a very, very lightweight trailer, fully loaded. It's 4,200 pounds, empty. So as it sits exactly right here, it's 3,100 pounds. So super lightweight trailer. And like I said, sometimes, well, like I said, I talked about the quality of this with, with your Azzo composite floor and your sidewalls. But sometimes when you have a lightweight trailer, sometimes the quality go down. That's not the case on this Hike 100. The quality's gone up. I mean, it costs more than what a 24-foot micro may does because of the technology that's in it. So again, if you've got a smaller vehicle, whether it be a Chevy Colorado or, or a Jeep or um, you know a 4Runner or anything like that that can tow, I would probably like, you know, you probably might want to leave yourself a little safe way, maybe around 4,500. It just depends on what you're comfortable with. Because like I said, empty, this thing's only 3,100 pounds. Whatever you're comfortable with, and if you want us to advise you on, you know, right tow vehicle, four trailer, we'd be happy to do that. But anyway, so this offers a lot of different people a great option to get a trailer that's really, really nice, really capable without having to buy a new truck or without having to you know, buy some big trailer that you can only fit in the campground. You can take this anywhere. So the Hike 100, if you're a millennial, if you want to get out in the open and experience nature, check out these Hike 100s. Yeah, so we also get, before we, we wrap this video up, we wanted to touch the fact that we get a lot of questions and the number one question being, what's the cost? Regardless of what video we post, what's the cost? What's the cost? So this unit will probably outlast the cost. I mean, t prices change regularly on these things. We're very competitive with our pricing. So instead of me giving you a price and you holding me to it, you could look at the website. It could even be a better price than what it was today. So we're going to put a link in our bio. Check out our website. We've got all live pricing on everything that we've got on the lot. So you can check out that way or give me a call, schedule an appointment, and we'll show you these things around. So we appreciate you guys stopping by. Like I said, any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And as always, enjoy the journey. Hey there, thanks for watching this video. So we want to remind you again to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications so we can keep you updated with the best that the RV industry has to offer. If you want to stick around and watch some more videos, we've got a link for two videos here. So we'd love for you to stay and look at that. And if there's anything else that you want us to do videos on, leave comments. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the journey.